This is a $1,000 a night hotel room. It's underwater, has multiple stories, comes with a butler, and has two jacuzzis. It's freaking insane. But this is my hotel. It's a space capsule pod that can cost as low as $1. Why are we staying here? I've always been obsessed with living in the future. I even built my own robot as a kid. Its name was... Master Robot. So me and my friend Zach are flying around the world to visit the world's most futuristic hotels. Starting with my airplane seat. It's basically a hotel room. Let me show you around. You've just got to press this button and and the doors will close. Now we just have a totally private apartment. This exact seat can cost you up to $22,000, making it possibly the world's most expensive plane seat. You also have your own private mini bar. Look at this. It's got water, soda, basically any drink you could want. No way. Plenty of movie options. I had to watch Minions. I wonder how Zach's doing. All right, so appetizer has come out. I can't imagine Andrew's is better than this, right? Time for lunch. Let's call a waitress. Uh, yes, can I get the sushi? So, it will take two minutes, sir. Two minutes, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. It's that time, sushi review. It was very good. I'll give it nine out of ten sushis. Getting a seat like this is totally a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Like, it's kind of a totally irresponsible way to spend your money. Quick bathroom tour. Is the bathroom. That is my shower. Your sink is extremely nice. And of course, there's even a TV. How many people can say they've traveled like hundreds of miles while taking a shower? Easily the best shower of my life. We decided to head to the plane's lounge. Yes, there's a lounge to get ready to land and finally check into our insane hotels. We're almost there. We finally landed and made it to Singapore. It's time to split up and see the difference between my $17 space bunk bed and Zach's insane hotel that can cost up to $3,000 a night. All right, let's check this place out. Very nice. Staircase, bathroom. Here is the master bedroom. So I know they said this is an underwater hotel. Still haven't seen the water, but I was told to press this black button. Whoa. Whoa. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. But what? No way. Did you guys just see that? Hey, buddy. Wow, they're so cute. There's a diver. There's a stingray, there's tons of fish. There's also an upstairs and a jacuzzi up there, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit. Just, wow, I, I'm speechless. So this is where I'll be staying. I've just gotta scan my key and we're in. Let me give you the grand tour. That is the grand entrance, the front door. And right to the left is your mirror. That's you guys. This can change the lighting. Just pick your favorite color. This controls the air conditioning. Here's some USB chargers and where you plug headphones in. Headphones into what, you might ask? There's a TV. And that's basically like everything you could need. Wow. Ah, they're so cool. I actually never want to leave. Most importantly, there's sharks. And I love sharks. And I already named one Bruce, but I can't find him. So honestly, I'm a little bit worried. I literally feel like I'm Aquaman. But if Aquaman got to order room service. But I'm still looking for Bruce, because like, Bruce is my buddy. Bruce. Where'd Bruce go? Bruce is back. I love it. God, this place is amazing. Walk upstairs, see what's up here. Meaning TV. I believe this is a hot tub. This is relaxing. Very relaxing. And this is hot tub number one out of two. So the last few hours, I've just kind of been on my phone watching TikTok. <laughs> There's really not that much else you can do. Now that we've checked in, we both have to complete a few missions, starting with eat a meal in the coolest place possible. So my mission is to find something to eat. Check this out. I'm definitely eating here. Take a look, I got Turkish food. So room service just arrived, but I made sure not to get any fish because I can't disrespect my boys and girls, my homies and homettes. I can't disrespect them like that. Mission accomplished. It was insanely good. So I'm actually pretty full after that, but I just found this restaurant that looks insane. It's called Sushi Airways, and it's designed to make you feel like you're eating sushi on a plane, which is funny because I just did that. After lunch, I decided to head over and see just how nice Zach's hotel actually was. All right, so apparently this is Zach's hotel. Hey, what's up, fam? This is your window? What? How can this be a hotel room? This is like better than the aquarium. I'm used to my four walls. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, I love my life. Make sure you watch to the end of the video because tomorrow we're visiting the world's longest infinity pool. And it's on top of three connected skyscrapers. So I'm back in my pod. Next mission, take the most interesting selfie possible at your hotel. Whoever gets more likes wins. So I have to take the craziest selfie possible for a mission. This is so not fair. I have like two square feet. Check it out. 
So for the selfie, I've got a few ideas, but I think I have one in particular that I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to beat. It was really fun. Hey there, um, I was hoping to get the indoor jacuzzi set up. Five minutes, that's perfect. Whoa, got all my food here. Ooh, they're a little hard to eat. <laughs> it's so good. This is a vibe. So I got two desserts. She said I might not like this one. No. <laughs> Bruce! Hey, Brucey boy! Oh, okay. I might have put too many bubbles in. I can't tell if I look cool or dumb, so you guys are gonna have to tell me in the comments. How do I look? Do I look as good as I feel? I think I look cool. It's now 10.21. I'm trying to make as little noise as possible to not wake anyone up. Pretty sure people are sleeping all around me. I'm basically eating the microphone at this point. Let's see what Zach's doing. Hey, I hate you. I'm in a bubble bath. I'm literally covered in bubble. This is my view. It's absolutely insane. And I might have gone a little overboard on the bubbles, Oh, that kind of looks dope. How is it? I'm in a box, dude. I don't have a hot tub or a hot tub staring into a bunch of fish above me, but uh, you can watch a show, stare at yourself in the mirror, and it's way cheaper than having a ton of fish swim in front of your bed. So unnecessary. <laughs> Update, I've been in here about four hours, I think. I've not gotten out because it's insane. I finished all my food. Um, the water's almost cold. And um, yeah. <laughs> It's just as beautiful as it was the first second I got in. So if you couldn't tell, my space capsule is supposed to be just like an actual sleeping pod you used to sleep in on a space station. And while it doesn't really give you the feeling of sleeping in space, it's still like a cheap and comfortable way to spend the night in Singapore. All right, let's go to bed. I just jump into bed. Woo! And this is my view all night. So we're gonna try and get some sleep. Sadly, it is time to leave. I'll miss you, space books. Wow. The most incredible view to wake up with. We're heading to the world's largest rooftop infinity pool. That's the infinity pool we're going to. We made it. It sits on top of one of the biggest hotels in the world. The pool holds almost one and a half million gallons of water and is almost 500 feet long. This has gotta be like the most insane swimming pool ever. You're so high up, you can even see Malaysia from the pool. Like, that's Malaysia. I'm back home now, but I had a great time pretending like I was sleeping in space. Although I'm sure it's just not the same as sleeping with the sharks like Zach did. But there are still tons of futuristic hotels I need to visit. Like the $5,000 Star Wars Hotel, or this one with dinosaur robot employees. That one sounds cool. I even visited the world's largest minion store when I was there, which was great because I watched minions on the flight over. But the store has thousands of different minions products, like anything you could imagine, even forks and knives. And outside all day, there are random minions dance parties in Universal. So of course, I had to buy something. I look so cool. So be sure to subscribe to see where I go next.